The 1920s, also known as the Roaring Twenties and the Jazz Age, was a major dramatic and social political change. People experienced the beginning of equality for women, the exciting Jazz Age, the prohibition, rising gangsters, and the devastation and rampage of the KKK. The nation's wealth more than doubled between 1920s and 1929. This economic growth created many Americans an un familiar consumer-driven society. People began to all have the same interests, slang terms, and same style of fashion and music. This era was known for more conflict than celebration with the major uprising of flap flappers. Technological advances such as the invention of washing, machi washing machines and vacuum came about that during this time. Cars gave people more freedom and luxury to go where they pleased. The most common symbolism for this era was the flapper. Women with bobbed hair and short skirts who were known for drinking and smoking and saying whatever they wished. Flappers were ultimately known as very unladylike women who thought the rules didn't apply to them in a sense. The 19th Amendment came into play with women's rights allowing women to work higher paying jobs. Uh, one leading job for women during this era was a stenographer, which were women who record the spoken word. Women were given increased ability to get birth control to have fewer children. They were included in unemployment benefit programs, also were allowed to go to college if accepted. The American novelist Edith Wharton was the first woman to win the Pulitzer Prize for her novel, The Age of Innocence. The Law of Poverty Act was passed allowing both women and men to inherit land. Then in 1920s, Carrie Morrison was the first woman soldier. The nation slowly began the journey to both equality for both genders. The Jazz Age caused for dancing to become more popular among all ages, the most, most commonly young adults. Dance moves such as the Charleston, the Cakewalk, the Black Bottom and the Flea Hop were a major hit. Jazz bands played at dance halls like the Savoy in New York City and the Aragon in Chicago. Many radio stations, uh, other people uh, refused to allow such vulgarity and dancing among the younger generation. They didn't like the freedom they were given on the dance floor. Uh, many famous singers and musicians, including Louis Armstrong, and Marion Harris and Betsy Smith were influential during this era. The 18th Amendment, a constitution ratified in 1919, had banned the manufacture and sale of intoxicating liquors. At 12 a.m. on January 16, 1920, the Federal Volestation Act closed every tavern, barn, bar, saloon in the United States. It was illegal to sell any type of liquor with more than 5% alcohol. This caused these businesses to go underground and speakeasies to become increasingly popular, all of which were controlled by bootleggers and racketeers and other organizations. Uh, Al Capone was a major gangster in Chicago. Was uh, uh, he reportedly had 1,000 gunmen and half of Chicago's police on payroll. Capone was known also known as Scarface, was the first gangster to be on the cover of the Times. He sought to consolidate control by eliminating his rivals in illegal trades, bootlegging, gambling, and prostitution. Through the Valentine's Day Massacre on February 14, 1929, seven men were associated with the Irish gangster George Bugs Morgan, a longtime enemy of Capone's, were shot to death by several men dressed as policemen. The massacre never officially linked to Capone, but was most people suspected it was him. Pretty Boy Floyd was another gangster of this time. He was known for his robberies. He started robbing banks at only 21 years old. Uh, he also had a positive reputation besides being wanted for many robberies. He was also called the Robin Hood of the Cookson Hills. The Ku Klux Klan was founded in 1866. The KKK covered over all of the southern states by 1870. Their main goal was to restore the white supremacy over other races. They were known for being a pillar of the southern resistance, aimed to condemn the Republicans' Reconstruction era, policies for equality of blacks. They had underground plans to intimidate and scare the leaders of the movement. The KKK would resort to violence if they weren't heard by burning houses and killing many people in sacrifice of their opinion. Congress passed a legislation designed to try to put a stop to the, to the Klan's terrorism. In the early 20th century, white Protestant nativists 
started back up the KKK, starting rallies, parades, burning crosses, and marching marches condemning Catholic Jews, blacks, and organized later. The 1920s was an era of parties, conflict, and major historical events through the Prohibition, Valentine's Day Massacre, Rise in Music and Dancing, KKK, and Women's Rights. These events influenced the lives of Americans to this day. The Prohibition was caused for the rise of speakeasy. Easies. The Valentine's Day Massacre was a gangster fruition, Jazz Age, which began the rise in artists and singers and dancers, also through the KKK being the Klan fighting for what they believed was right. All of these events were major influences on today's society.